What's up? Y'all locked into the Rick and Reese show. You already know, man. It's your boy, the raspy one. It's your boy, Reese. I'm sitting next to the greatest co-host on the planet, Rick Jones. Oh, Reese, man, you're far too kind. Man, listen, y'all could have been tapped into anybody in the world right now, but y'all rocking with your boys, Rick and Reese, and you already know. We appreciate that. Rick. Talk to me. Nah, hold on, hold on. Hold talk on. to me. Talk to me. I'm feeling real good, man, because it's a special day. Okay, I'm act like I don't know. It's September 2nd, man. I got the microphone. Yes, sir. Man, I had to say, man, happy birthday to my guy. Ah, uh, I appreciate you, bro. You want me to sing to you? Yeah, yeah. Go you ahead. You want me man. to sing? Go ahead. Go ahead if you want. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Man. I All appreciate right, man. you, though, respect, man. Respect, respect, Thank man. you, bro. I Listen, appreciate man, that, man. Listen, man, everybody that's checking this out, man, I need your man to right where you at. He don't got to hear it, but say it. Put it in the atmosphere. Just tell him happy birthday, man. You know, this they can go guy. on Facebook and tell me happy birthday, man. I love Rick that Jones, idea. Man. Put in the comments. Man, I was checking out the show, and I had to say happy birthday to you because Reese insisted. Because I'm, I'm that kind of guy. I appreciate that, bro. But, man, if I can shift, can I shift? Shift. If I can shift, man, I feel real good about today's show because, man, we got an individual on, man. It's really like my little brother. Okay, okay. But I had the pleasure of really watching his maturation process. Yes, sir. You yes, don't sir. always get to watch somebody yes, sir. step for step. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. So now I, I'm tossing out words. I watched him, too, though. I watched him, too, man. Okay. It's something, it's something when... The, the student becomes a teacher now. <laughs> he's, he's your teacher now. <laughs> nah, that's my hey, guy. So listen, man, unbelievable uh, entrepreneur, man, not just here in the city, but I'm talking about on a national scale. Man, he's a high-income coach. And you know how we use the term in our culture, level up? Yes, sir. Man, his ability to inspire, man. to cause people to level up, man. I'm telling you. High energy, <laughs> high income. I'm telling you. Yes, listen, sir. We're yes, going to get there, but we got him on the Rick and Reese show today. Man, we got Dame Dillard in the building. Dame, what's up, fam? Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Yes, sir. Man, it's big energy in here. I'm super, super excited to be on the show with my big bros. It's an honor to be on. Happy birthday, my guy. Thank you, bro. (laughs) Let's get it. Let's love on the people a little bit. I'm here for y'all. Yes, sir, man. Man, I'm geeked. Just share with, man, the people just a little bit about you where we started. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, man, I don't even know where to start. I guess I could start at Walnut Springs. Might, <laughs> might as well. That's when you saw me the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I'm so honored to be on the show, man. I, like, I've had a chance to see what you all are doing, mm. impacting the community in the last couple of years. Um, I remember being at Lyndon McKinley, mm. 6 a.m. on Saturday mornings for the open gyms that you used to run. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, yes. that's how far we go back. Go back. Um, mm. our, again, Walnut Springs. Coming up to Western World South, you were you weren't just running the camps like you were the point god, not point guard, <laughs> like point god. And, and I was like, man, if I could just have a hesitation move like that guy, you know what I'm saying? So uh, to hear you all say these things, I'm completely honored, man. I'm a little bashful right now, a little nervous, and I'm never nervous when I talk, right? That's hey, I look uh, at you everywhere. I'm like, man, this guy, he's everywhere. inspiring me. So I mean, awesome. he's on jets. I'm, I'm not going to give everything That's up, awesome. man. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Yeah, I'm no different from anybody else, bro. Um, I'm right here from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, graduated from Westerville South. Went to 11 different schools between kindergarten and high school. Um, so never really had a chance to create uh, a foundational relationship with anybody mm. outside of my mother and father. And wow. uh, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. Um, I think the only real outlet that I had growing up uh, was acting up in school because <laughs> I, I was so suffocated at home, you know, right. uh, which now I understand to a certain extent, but graduated with a 1.7 GPA, uh, went to a couple of different colleges and did not graduate. Uh, <laughs> let, let's be absolutely clear. I left as a sophomore. They're okay. like, oh, you graduate? No, no, I just decided I was done. I just kind of uncovered a couple of things about success and about personal self-development um, because I had a desire to win, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I think one of my favorite shows growing up was uh, MTV Cribs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I used to see people living a certain way. And I, I had friends that lived in Highland Lakes. Mm-hmm. And then I had friends that lived in Linden. And my, my consistent question was, what is the difference? Because what I was commonly told that it was a spiritual difference. Mm-hmm. And so I'm wondering, okay, is it a spiritual mm-hmm. factor that leads to abundance in every area of life? Or is mm-hmm. it something else? And that kind of set me on the journey to kind of figure out what it was and what created abundance and what abundance looked like outside of material things even. Okay. Okay, man. Talk to us. Don't let me bit. go too long, bro. Because oh, no, we will turn this into an hour and a half teaching. <laughs> hey, listen, man. The Rick and Reese show is about, man, empowering, inspiring, Amen. encouraging. Amen. So, and man, that, you are that, man. You embody you. that, man. Just 100%. watch your journey. 
So we're, we're trying to motivate the mess out of the people. Yeah, yeah, motivate at the, the masses. Let's the go. Day. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Hundred percent. And we want to hear your story. You know where you come from and where you at now, and what yeah. you've done in the process. Yeah, for sure. So when I came out as a sophomore, man, um, again, I did not graduate, but again, I was on this mission. There was this desire I had to win. Okay. But it was also because I was very, very different from people leaving college, mm. right? Like I was playing college sports, but I was older than everybody else. Like, let's be very, very honest. Right. Because I didn't play any organized sports in high school because of the religion. It was discretionary, but her thing was bad association spoils useful habits. Okay. And so she never allowed me to play. My path was a lot different from anybody else, but I started the reverse route. So I started with my professional career right out of high school. Okay. And then I went back to college. And here's why. I was working for a company called Bally Total Fitness. This was back in 2006, 2007. Throwback. I apologize Fujiyamas. to everybody <laughs> huh? that is still on a three-year <laughs> yeah. membership and it's on your credit right now. That <laughs> I might have sold you that part. Okay, all right. But, but yeah, I was doing that and I was really, really good at that because I understood what my gift was. I knew my gift was in communication, mm -hmm. right? And so I had a conversation with my father. Okay. And I want to say this to everybody. This is very important. Whoever has your ear has your future. Mm. And so the word says to honor your father and your mother, and I do that. <laughs> so I'm going to just tell you what he said, and you can figure out the rest of the story. <laughs> I'm working 100 plus hours a week at Bali Total Fitness. I'm a general manager for the gym, right? I, I said I was good at sales. And he said, Damon, if you don't get your degree, you're going to continue to work extremely hard, but not get paid your worth. Wow. Now, I love my father to life. But my father hasn't earned anything over $35,000 a year. Mm. So that's the level of advice that I was also taking. Okay. So I decided to come back. I did my own recruiting, ended up getting a scholarship. Woo, got a chance to play wow. ball. Like, it was my dream, right? Like, I told you, man, mm. I love who. And so when I came back, um, started to discover this thing called mentorship and coaches. And, and I ran into a guy, shout out Rob Coates, right? One of my yeah, other shout dudes. Out to Rob. And, um, and he, he introduced me to a, to an audio. It was a video. Like I'm taking it back because it was like the VCR recorders. I had the fat butt TV, right? It was only about a 17 inch. I was right. super broke. But he, he told me, he said, listen, Damon, if you don't make money while you sleep, you're going to work until you die. Wow. And so the only reason I went back to school, honestly, was to get the degree to have something on our, on my resume where they could pay me a salary for what I've proven to do wow. and pay me a bonus for what I'm showing I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. This is the advice I was, I was following at that time. So end up leaving college, introduced to mentors. I tell people all the time, you learn one of two ways. You learn through mistakes or you learn through mentors. In other words, you learn through pain or you learn through people. Mm. See, the people that I was with in college, they could make mistakes. They could do internships. They could test things out. They could put their toe in the water. But I didn't have that option. I had reasons why I must win. Now, here's the second thing. I had a standard. When I left Capital University, my standard was I cannot make anything less than 100 grand a year. Now, at that time, this is back in 2013. At that time, I didn't even know what rich really meant. Right. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I want to have enough to take care of myself, my girlfriend, who's now my wife yeah. and my children. Right. And I thought six figures would be it. Right. And so right. here's what happened. I ended up going around to a couple of different financial firms. Mm -hmm. But here's the challenge with that. When you've been in sales your whole life, you've exhausted every single opportunity <laughs> and every single person in your network. Right, right, Listen, right. If I came around and told them I could help them with their finances, they're going to say, how? You broke. Yeah. <laughs> like, how you going to do that for me? Right, right, and so right, right, right. what ended up happening, I had a conversation. Shout out Jimmy Bell, right? We in Columbus, so go ahead and shout out the Absolutely. Buckeye. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jimmy told me, he was like, listen, man, if you get your life insurance license, mm. you'll never have to worry about money in your life again. Now, here's why. I want to drop, drop a couple of quick gems. It was not the life insurance industry that created the major shift in my finances. Mm -hmm. What it was is finding, number one, a huge need and mm -hmm. a specific niche. Okay. I don't care what it is that you do. If you find a public pressing need, mm -hmm. you will never have to worry about finances again. Mm -hmm. The second thing was this. I didn't go wide. I went deep. Mm. So I compare it between a red ocean and a blue ocean. Damon, what is a red ocean and a blue ocean? When I'm looking at a market that I want to get into to make a significant amount of money, a red ocean is something where it's saturated, quote unquote. Right, right, right? right. The three major markets are health, wealth, and relationships. Forever in a day, people will always spend 
Google, Google's, a, if that's even gobbles. a word. Yeah, yeah. Gob- yeah. Google's, a, it a word Google's and careers. gobbles. All the words been made up, right? <laughs> You'll make a ton of money yeah. if you help people improve on the things they care about most. Health, wealth, and relationships. Right. Now, here's the key. If I only get into health, wealth, or relationships as my niche, that's Red Ocean. Why, Damon? Because there's a million different voices trying to serve that community. Mm. Let's go deeper. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, if I'm going to get in wealth, what could I possibly do to create significance in this industry and have a voice outside of the norm? Okay. Go deeper in the niche. Because at the end of the day, your income will be in direct correlation to the value you bring the marketplace. Ooh, that is a law. That that's is a good. principle. Hold on. Run, hold up. Run that back. Yeah, that's good. That <laughs> run that good. back. Run that. Because that was, that was just a jewel you dropped. Turn your volume that was good. up. Yes. That was good. It's a jewel coming. Turn your volume up. <laughs> yes. Man, give us that again. Yeah, so you're going to make me. Now, now I got to go back just a little bit. Here's why. Because I was frustrated, bro. Like, I was frustrated because I was never a lazy person. It, anybody that knows me from the city knows I always had a gig. Right. One, two, three jobs right. and a side hustle, right? Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to make money and I wanted to do it quickly. Mm. But here was the thing. I was frustrated in 2012 and 2013 because what I was told growing up is if I work harder, I'm going to make more money. But really, it just made me more tired. Yeah. And so I was trying to figure out what's the secret. I figured out there were principles to success. A wow. principle is a law that governs. Mm. Damon, what is a law? Very simple. The law of gravity. It doesn't pick whether you're cute, ugly, short, fat, skinny, tall, from Linden, from Westerville. It doesn't matter. Why? Because it's irrefutable. It works every single mm -hmm. time. Right. I figured out there are laws to building wealth. Mm. And the law, right, if you practice the principle, you can participate in the promise. The principle is your it. income will be in direct equivalent to the value you bring, you bring the marketplace. The marketplace. Mm. Now, y'all take out a pen and a piece of paper real quick. <laughs> That's good. Because a lot good. of people are like, well, Damon, how do I determine value? That's good. How do I know my value? Because we were all made in the image and likeness of the creator. So at the end of the day, our value is invaluable. Right, mm. right. But what is it to the marketplace? So if you want to increase that and name your price, write this down. Number one, what is the need for what I do? Number two, what is my ability to do it? Number three, how hard is it to replace you? Mm. How do I become irreplaceable? I think uh, Miles Monroe said it best. He said, do not look to become successful. Look to become a person of value. Mm. I become invaluable with skills. That's good. I become invaluable with character traits. Yes. What is my desire? What is my imaginative faculty? What is my resourcefulness? Right. That's what is good. my what, what is my persuasion technique? Mm -hmm. Right. With the skills, I think the three top skills anybody needs to grow is communication, leadership and sales. Mm, that's Period. Good. That's good. Communication, leadership and sales. You learn that it's game over. That's so, good. Yeah, it's good. Man. Yeah. Now, it's a whole lot of gems being dropped, man. Gems. So, you know, obviously, man, everybody, man, goes through a storm. Yeah. Life will deal you some hands. There's challenges. There's struggles. Yeah. So, obviously, we, we look today, and, man, we, you know, we can speak on abundance. Yeah. But how do you go from the place where you're trying to, like you said, mm. you, you're looking to get that hundred thousand yeah. that you, I mean, you want to level up, mm. but when you look around real life right now in your face is, is a challenge. How did you navigate those murky waters to not quit, to not give up along the way? Yeah. Yeah. Marianne Williamson said it best. She said a miracle is nothing more than a change of perspective. Mm. And so at the end of the day, your life change when what you're looking at also changes. Well, Damon, how does that make sense? Because what I'm looking at is poverty. What I'm looking at is a lack of abundance. What I'm looking at is a whatever, whatever, whatever current situation you see with your eyes right mm. now, that is, hear me closely, lying to you, right? Mm. I believe Helen Keller said it best. Mm. She said to have sight with no vision, vision, right? What is vision? Vision is what happens when I close my eyes and open my heart. Mm. That's vision. Yes. It says without a vision, the people will perish. Now I think the mistake is a lot of people think perish means to die. It doesn't. The original meaning of that word was to lack restraint. In other words, if I don't have a vision, I'm going to lack in discipline, mm, which means good. if my life doesn't look the way I want it to look right now, it's because I did not have a clear vision. My mm. God. And so the word future, I want to give this to you guys. Talk to us. Talk future. To us. 
I'm really big on words. Can y'all tell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, a hat yeah. on that says word. Right? Why? Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, right? Come on, Even the world itself was created with the word, right? Word. Right. Mm -hmm. I promise you, your world looks different from my world, not because of you doing something wrong, but because of the words that you're saying. Why? Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So many of us are speaking death to live situations because we don't understand the definition of words. Wow. The word future. Future. Mm -hmm. If you look it up right now, the word literally means the time or period of time following the moment mm. of speaking or writing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Write the vision. Oh, Make it plain. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Watch it. Because why? Because he or she that sees it will run. Really? So a lot of people are wondering, well, Damon, why am I stagnant? Why is my business going backwards? Well, Damon, why do I feel stuck right now? Why do I feel depressed? Well, because... Look at where you're looking. Mm -hmm. It says, write the vision, make it plain so he or she that sees it will run. If I'm looking towards my vision, I can only move in that direction. Right. But the very definition of the word says, future, time or period of time following the moment of speaking or writing. So the problem is, a lot of people are speaking themselves out of live situations by speaking death. Mm -hmm. And so I can tell automatically where you are in your life based on what you're talking about. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. In the book, Think and Grow Rich, there's a chapter about auto-suggestion. Auto suggestion. Why? Because faith comes by what? Hearing. hearing. Faith comes by hearing. But what does belief come by? I love the story of Abraham. Okay, talk to us. Because at first he was Abram. Mm -hmm. Now I can't imagine being 90 something years old and my name literally means father, but I ain't got no kids. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? <laughs> my wife, her name means mother. But she ain't got no kids. So I can't imagine how your friends, how your family is talking about you and your dream and your aspirations and what you were supposed to have been doing. And now you've gotten to an older age and now you're starting to look around and you're wondering like, God, what's up? <laughs> right? And so all of a sudden, someone says to him, an angel, right? Mm -hmm. God, whatever. Like, I'm not a theologian. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Somebody came to the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the first thing he did. He changed his name. Why? Because immediately by changing my name, mm. I have to start hearing an affirmation of what's about to happen in my life. Case in point, many of us have friends in our lives mm -hmm. that are inconducive and, and unaligned with where we want to go. Mm. Show me we can't friends, see ourselves you being millionaires because our friends don't even call us that. Mm. Right? And so his name becomes Abraham, what? Father of many nations. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Okay, faith is being inserted. People are calling them by their new names over and over and over and over and over. Damon, why is this important? Because we're talking about belief. Mm -hmm. Believing did not happen yet. How do we know that? Because there's something... This is a PG show, but there's something that needs to happen in order to have kids. Yeah. Right, right. And right, when I'm right. 90 something years old, I don't know that I'm doing what I need to do. Right, right. Y'all with me? We with you, Doc. So he's having a dream. God takes him out to a field and he says, I want you to look. Somebody say, look. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to look yeah, up yeah, at yeah. the stars. Right, right. And I want you to see a face on every star. Mm. Watch this. The verse literally says, now this is one thing I can't quote, all right? M maybe the uh, new International Damon version. But it, was, <laughs> it literally says, when he looked up, he saw a face on every star. Watch this. And then he believed. Okay, mm. here we go. Here we go. Belief. Come on, man. Bring so believing on. comes by seeing. Mm. I got I to gotta hear a certain thing, but I got a question for people. What are you seeing? Listen, there was a time period, a lot of people know me, there was a time period where I had to disassociate myself from certain people wow. because there were certain things that I needed for my faith. My faith was fragile at that time. Right. I could only hear certain things. Mm -hmm. There were only things that I could see. And so when you expose yourself, your elevation is contingent on exposure. Your desire can only be built by new environments. And in Think and Grow Rich, it says that desire is the starting point of all achievement. Wow. Mm. So if you're lacking in desire, you can't get to the next level. But if you're lacking in desire, it's because all you're seeing is what you currently have. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. So, so I once heard this, man. You know, knowledge is powerful, but they said applied knowledge. Come on now. It's the most powerful thing. So, mm. man, I want to talk about where you are today yeah. and what have you been able to build because of your belief yeah, yes, and the sir. things that you're talking about now? Yes, sir. I think knowledge is really, really important, but I want to give you one more. Awareness is way better. Mm. Who I am and whose I am, yeah. I'm way more powerful. Come on now. Right? Come on. Come now on. I can really apply what's already been given to me. People think that personal development is you becoming a new person. It's not. 
is she reminding of you of who you already are? Mm -hmm. Because when I was born, I only had two fears, loud noises and falling, mm -hmm. right? So at what point did we start fearing being told no? Right. Right? right. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Mm. Like everybody think about it. What would you do if you knew that you could not fail? And that's what I got on a mission about, right? That type of wisdom more, more than anything. And so obviously we did really, really well in the insurance industry. I think anytime you become an entrepreneur, um, a mirror goes up. Mm. And, and I love Snow White because it's very similar. She had the mirror on the wall and she said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Mm. And then the mirror would talk back to her and tell her. I think when it comes to entrepreneurship, when you sign up, okay. there's a mirror mm. and you go into the mirror and you say, I want better relationships. I want a better car. I want to make more impact. I want all these things. Right. But the mirror says back to you, okay, Damon, you got to become a better father. You need to become more dependable. You have to have higher integrity. You have to have higher character. You have to become a better communicator. You have to continue to learn. It tells you all of your deficiencies. Mm. Here's the challenge with most people. You may have some dysfunction, but you don't have a deficit. Right now, the character traits that you're missing is the only thing you should be working on developing to develop into the entrepreneur you need to be to have what you really want. Example, in Genesis 128, it gives a success formula. Be, do, have. Be fruitful, multiply, right? We all know that. The challenge with most people is they think they'll become the right person when they have what they desire. And so people will hear my story. Oh, my God, Damon, you went from nine dollars an hour within 90 days, 2015. You made over one hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. We did a six million dollar a year company. And now we're helping people make six figures a day. Great. But what you did not see was the becoming. Mm. I worked 10 times harder on myself mm. than I ever did my business. You got to work on mm. yourself. You got to work on you, bro. You got to work on yourself. The discipline. Like whatever you're celebrated for publicly, you've been practicing privately for years. Right. Mm. So people did not see me driving six hours to uh, Lafayette, to um, Gary, Indiana, to uh, Laporte, Indiana, like getting my head bashed in with people telling me no. Mm. Like they did not see when I was in the 2003 Hyundai Elantra that was was red on pink. Damon, it was pink. Yeah, it was it, it was sunburned. The, it, the, the roof was so sunburned, it was pink. Right. right? right the right, windows, right. like kids don't know how I got my arms. They thought I was doing bicep curls, but it was really because I was rolling the window down the whole time, right? Like it was bad. It was bad. Right, right. But all of those things developed me into who I am right now. So yeah, man, I would encourage anybody to start with one book. It's called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. It's by a gentleman by the name of Shad Helmstetter. And here's why. I don't care where you are, what you're working on, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, 85% of the conversations you're having every single day are with you. And so it's very, very difficult to live our dreams when we're talking ourselves out of them. Mm, right? Wow, wow. So wow. when I learned how to speak to me, I became the Don King of Damon mm, Dillard. Wow, and so wow. a lot of people may see me now, but... They don't know what it took in those car rides by myself. I am the Man. head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Everything that I touch turns to gold. Yes. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. I am an amazing husband, father, leader, and friend. When I speak, people listen. Right? I'm saying affirmations over and over and over while everybody else is singing Beyonce. Man. And they're wondering why they're stuck. Mm. It's not because you're any different from me. We just did something different. different. Mm. You said something so powerful, man. We constantly talk ourselves Mm. Out of stuff. 100%. Man, could you expound on that a little bit more? Like, yeah, man. How do people do that? Oh, bro. So um, I'm sitting down uh, with two, well, with a multi, multi millionaire and a billionaire, right? Um, Russell Bronson and, and Myron Golden. Some, some of y'all may know who that is. Mm -hmm. And so Russell Bronson has a 15, I think it's a $15 billion company, something like that. They're, they're, reaching, they're reaching up there. I asked him a question that most people will not ask. Mm -hmm. When most people are asking someone of influence a question, it's a facetious question or it's not well thought out. Here's what I want to know. Because Jesus said, all things are possible to those that believe. And the reason why my life changed so much is because my first mentor said, Damon, no one believes the way that I do. And I did my research and realized belief means to accept something is true. Shakespeare said to think you can and to think you can't both are correct. So I don't need to ask you a certain strategy. Wow. What I need to be asking you is mm, what do you believe? 
And so I asked Russell Bronson, I said, listen, man, when you were broke, when you were putting out your wrestling tapes, when you were just trying to figure this thing out for you and your wife and kids, what did you have to start believing that took you from there to a multi-billion dollar company now? Right. Here's what he said. Give me that answer. Here's what he said. Shocker. He said, no one's ever asked me that, but if I had to tell you, he said, I believe that God is looking mm. to find out how we steward things. And I was like, I'm with you. Yeah. He wants to see how we manage things, right? He says, did you know that God also gave you ideas? And he said, the only difference between me and people that are not making it is I steward ideas better than anybody else. Mm. He said, my speed to apl- application is shorter than anybody else. He goes from idea to implementation immediately. And I can promise you, everybody listening to this, to this point, if you would just, that idea, that that one right there, wait, wait, that one, the one you you just thought about, right? right, right? right, right, right. If you would just say, I'm doubling down and I'm gonna see this thing through. Come on, man. Everything else works. Come on, man. And so in probably in the last three years, because I dissolved the insurance company in 2021 and I said, you know what? I'm working on purpose work now. Now every idea, Done, right? And we have teams and automation and all that, but if I get an idea, done. We're doing it right now. You hopping on And And that is a trait that I see of so many guys um, or women that people look up to. Right. I'm, I'm with Neil Davis last night, mm-hmm. right? And, and he's a, bro, you can't hoop. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually trash on the court. Let's be absolutely clear. Incredible <laughs> entrepreneur, incredible marketer, but he is trash on the court. So we end last night at 10.30. Here's what he says. He says, you hooping in the morning? I said, 5.30? He said, yeah. I said, man, all right, I'll be there. You going to be there? I'm thinking, I'm, like, you, he, don't, he doesn't even hoop. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be there. I said, all right, cool. I didn't even get in until about 1.30, right? I go to sleep. I'm like, man, I'll t- I'm just telling him in the morning I couldn't make it. I didn't make it. Mm. He sends me a video of him on the court. Right? Where you at? Yo, we three games in. What's going on? I ended up shooting him a text. I said, bro, man, that 94 feet took everything out of me, man. I was so tired. He said, excuses only sound good to the people that say them. Wow. That's the difference. That's good. That's, That's the good. difference. That's good, man. Listen, we just gave y'all so much, man. By bringing Dame on, man, you just got loaded. nugget after nugget, authors, all kind of quotables. <laughs> There's so much more that we could talk about. But how can they follow you, though? Yeah, yeah. So they can find me on uh, IG, Damon P. Dillard. It's probably the easiest thing. Um, it's Damon P. Dillard on every platform. I don't have any, like, cool nicknames or anything like that. Um, you can go to the elevatedincomeacademy.com. You can find me on there, and they'll be able to tap in. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, that's it right there. Hey, and then once you follow him, you're going to understand when I was when I was screaming at the beginning, talking about high energy. High, high, high energy. You're going to understand what I mean. High energy when I right high there. Energy. But, uh, man, listen, we appreciate y'all, man, being locked into the Rick and Reese show. That was Dame Dillard. You already know it's the raspy one, man. It's your boy Reese sitting next to the greatest co-host on the yes, planet, sir. Rick Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You already yeah. know what it is, family. Damon <laughs> Dillard, the high income sales coach, and I am sitting live yes, with sir. my big brother. Rose, Rick and Reese, let's go! Let's go! <laughs>